robotics program in 1986. And this is the newest version of Osimo. This represents the pinnacle of what we have been able to achieve in humanoid robotics to date. Show us a perfect fit. The Alnu Osimo received a full model change and has been equipped with a high response control system and applied mechanisms that are all newly designed. Honda's dream is to provide a robot that can provide peace of mind or physical care for family members and assistance in housework, a robot that can be indispensable for an enriched life. In order to make that possible, engineers originally started to concentrate development on the lower half of the robot's body to enable autonomous movement among people. Years of study and research on how humans walked enabled engineers to replicate the motion in a robot, allowing Osimo to walk. Not only can Osimo walk forward, but backwards as well constantly adjusting its center of gravity with each step it takes, just like humans. Now also is going to walk forward one more time, but I want you to notice this time the varying speeds. It's going to speed up and slow down without pausing. Now walking evolved to run, which meant Osimo had to be able to repeat the movements of pushing off the ground swinging its legs forward and landing within a very short time cycle and without any delay while absorbing the instantaneous impact of landing. While running, Osimo's step cycle is very similar to that of a person jogging. This led to further developments in leap time, allowing Osimo to hop. Hopping is an important addition because it speaks to greatly improved balance and stability. These balance and lateral movements mean that Osimo is even closer to being able to interact with people in the real world. We cannot demonstrate running today because of the size of our stage, but Osimo, as you can see, can still get a little air. <laughs> now, hopping on both feet is a major advancement, and Osimo has been further developed to hop on one foot as well. <laughs> Research then focused on the robot's upper body, where arm and shoulder movements were developed and improved, giving Osimo the ability to perform tasks to help others. This led to significant advances to the technology in Osimo's hands. Now you're going to hear me use the term degree of freedom, which means a single physical movement. For example, this is a degree of freedom. Now, in order to operate five fingers independently, the degrees of freedom in each hand have been increased from 2 to 13 in the new version of Asana, resulting in 57 for the entire body, which is a big increase over the 34 degrees of freedom in the previous version. I mentioned the increase in the dexterity in Asana's fingers, allowing for greater flexibility and usage. But this has also led to a major advancement in the area of communication. For Honda to achieve the ultimate goal of Osimo being used in a home-based setting to help people, communication has been a critical part of Osimo's development. Since 2002, Osimo has been able to verbally communicate with others. Now, in a major enhancement to Osimo, it can communicate in American and Japanese sign language, making greater use of the increased degrees of freedom in the hands that we mentioned earlier. Osimo is signing hello. And this is the sign for I study American Sign Language now. And Osimo says thank you. 
Now this concludes the technical part of Osimo's presentation. Now I'd like to share with you something else. Osimo is also about fun and interaction with humans, and that is why Osimo can also dance. This is an example of the fluidity of Osimo's motion and movements. Take it away, Osimo. Thank you.